think these animals do have a sixth sense when there is potential danger around. Ah, there I can hear some alarm calls now. Now their eyesight is so good. Listen, you might actually hear the alarm calls. Listen, to, let's listen for a second. Just the snorting of Impala. Hungry lions look a little bit like the Juma staff, or the rather the safari live staff this morning while I was preparing breakfast, sitting around like a pride of hungry lions waiting for their breakfast. Fortunately, it went off pretty well, I think. I didn't have any complaints. <laughs> still as she walks past. And Jennifer, uh, yeah, you know what, I, I, I don't think hearing human voices would necessarily disturb the lions too much if we were in, a dist in the distance, however, However, we are always as sensitive as possible, and if we see that the lions have locked on to a prey or prey species of any kind, we will keep quiet, we will keep our distance so that we don't disturb them. Not just them, we also need to be conscious of the prey that they are potentially trying to hunt. We don't want to interfere and we do not want to benefit either prey or predator. So we are very, very careful, we're very cautious. So if we can see that the lions have locked onto something, we'll, we'll hold our distance and try to keep our voices down so we don't disturb them. And then we'll just view and watch nature unfold. If, um, if anything does happen, great if the lions are successful. If they're not successful, great for the, for the prey species. So just having a look around here. They are behind us just through the thicket. I don't know where the others are. It's a lovely, lovely afternoon, warm afternoon now. The, the sun shining. And it's amazing that these lions have decided to move in the warm afternoon. Oh, wow. So it's nice and warm where we are. But apparently it's overcast and chilly up in the Masai Mara. I hope James is warm in his little control room. <laughs> 